Hi, this is Katrina. Welcome to my channel. I'm just going to give you a quick review of Jackson's home brand watercolour, particularly pans. Um, I bought my first, well, I bought these pans or the first lot of these pans in March in 2019. And these really were my first proper set of what would be classified as professional grade watercolours. Up until that time, I'd been using products such as Sakura Koi's, um, Windsor, and Newton, Windsor and Newton's Cottomans, um, and some other sort of Chinese knockoff brands. Enough for me to realise that, yes, I wanted to give this watercolour thing a bit more of a shot. The problem was I was living in an extremely remote part of Australia where we had no local art shops and most Australian art shops when you start looking at professional brands the ones that I could easily find were Windsor & Newton and Daniel Smith. Now in Australia these brands are very expensive and not knowing a lot about watercolour was somewhat reluctant to be spending 30 Australian dollars per tube of paint if I wasn't sure I was really going to like them. So I ended up finding out about Jackson's and was blown away with the range of products that was actually out there. So I was quite easily sold on the idea of I could get 18 colours of my choice in a pan and I think it cost me about 110 or 120 Australian dollars. So you can imagine for me starting out being thinking oh, I want all the colours. This was an absolutely amazing deal. So this is actually the tin that I got in the first with them and you know it's actually still in pretty good shape yeah it's a bit rusty you know as you would imagine but you know what it's held up it just doesn't fit all the colors anymore and you know it's done the job it needed to and I will use this in the future so over time I bought a few more colors so what was good I was able to then select the 18 colors that I was most interested in trying. So I tried to stick with sort of the split primary concept plus a few other things that I like the sound of. Um, and to be honest, it really wasn't a bad selection. So I received these in March in 2019 and really used them exclusively for about six months before I got my next set of professional paints. Um, now, what these paints gave me was the ability to put in brush miles. So, I swatched them all out, started to learn the importance of swatching and why you would keep swatch records. I obviously bought a few more colours later on, you know, filling in a few of the gaps. Um, and so I have a reasonable collection of them. Now, so I have what? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 8, 20. 22 colours. Now there's apparently 48 colours in the um, Jackson's home brand um, range. Now when I bought this set, it was a about in Australian dollars it was about 110 to about 120 dollars to choose my own colors I was having a look they have an 18 color set of full pans and it's now close to 140 dollars Australian but that looks like the colors are set they're not a choose your own color selection anymore so I don't know where that's changed um, if you are looking at doing a similar thing the other thing that I did when I got these colours was I actually set about doing a full mixing chart and this is one of the first times that I actually spent the time going through this exercise and oh my gosh I learned so much doing this. Now it's not perfect, there's a lot of problems, I can see what I should have done better, what I, you know, but 
yes this was such a good way to learn how my paints worked so you know you can see really decent bright mixes available from the colors that I chose the greens are really 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 bright I've got some gorgeous violets and pinks and the neutrals are really quite good um, an excellent range of colors to be honest and just to give you a bit of an example like one of the things I also got was a fairly cheap Jackson's watercolor journal and it just allowed me to do brush miles so I've just got pages and pages of brush miles learning how my colors worked you know playing with concepts just painting more and more and more and more because I wasn't concerned about oh, these paints are so expensive what happens so this is not good quality paint paper they're not necessarily the world's greatest paints but what they gave me was brush miles and I have to say brush miles count for some of us um, and so and also the option of learning things like how to mix greys learning how to record how to pay attention to what I'm doing so all of this really kicked off learning how to be an artist um, and that's when I started to get my M grams but so what do I really think of them look as your first set of professional style watercolors if you are someone who needs to put in brush miles to gain confidence really they're quite a good option they are still very price competitive their quality is okay like they're not gonna they're not a paint that'll knock your socks off but I lived in a really hot dry part of the country with no resources around me and honey based paints that just reactivated so 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 easily I should just show you these have been dry sitting in a drawer dry I don't know it would be weeks at least since I last put any moisture on these you can see that they've still got a little bit of a shine in places um, none of them ooh, none of them actually are sticky to the touch but let me just grab this is really cheap watercolor paper so if I just you know that's like no effort at all great it's it's not a particularly heavy heavy load of pigment but I was certainly not and then look at that that was a carmine barely touched that at PV19 I'm trying to think of what something is a usually a bit yucky to re-wet um, I mean this one looks dry and cracked so this is the Quinn purple yeah not a heavy pigment pigment load straight up but you know really not too bad um, I would not recommend these paints for someone who's already got professional grade watercolor paints these are excellent price entries for people who want to get their first set of something that's closer to a professional grade paint to really do the brush miles and get the practice in before they decide what they're going to upgrade to you can learn color theory color mixing you can learn all of the important components without these holding you back they're they're not necessarily overly chalky they don't seem to have excessive fillers or anything like that um, they're just good strong paints for a beginner so you know 
there's weaknesses with various colors that I have but you know what they're really quite adequate for the job that they did and the job that they got did for me was to really get me painting I hope this was somewhat useful if you have any questions or comments please feel free to add them and we'll see you next time bye